good people of YouTube. My name is Ben and welcome back to the Curse of Nexremus. Heroic mode. So we have defeated an Uber Khan in Heroic with my handlock. So in um, let's compare the Grand Widow Fairlina to, to her heroic version. Her job is very important. Do not so she has Rain of Fire for 2 mana, Fire Missile for each card in your opponent's hand. That might be bad for Handlock. And the heroic version costs 1 mana. Okay. Although I don't think she had any AoE. I might use the zoo deck I used before against her. That might be a wise decision. If she can deal damage based on the number of cards I have in my hand, handlock is a very poor choice. Gul'dan versus Grand Widow! Serve me without question. Your soul shall be mine. Uh, I don't want a young priestess. I want flame imps, void walkers, uh, maybe a knife juggler. Now oh, this doesn't work. Well, if I play this, it'll 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 just die to the hero power. Is this leggy again? Oh great, a death charger. This deck might not work actually. At least not now since I had a terrible start. Put this apple on your head. And this leg seems to appear only one when I'm on Fairlina. Fantastic. So if we lose, let's take a look at her deck. So she has... Oh, I should kill that. I should also play stuff. So she has so far a Death Charger. That has charge, a 2 3 for 1. And she has an Undertaker. Get in there and, fight, and Abusive Sergeants. And she also has a lot of uh, Warrior cards and Dancing Swords. I'm getting wrecked. Well, I don't really want to discard the Doom Guard, so I want to play anything first. <laughs> and I get another Argus. And I can't play this one. Get in there and fight, I believe this one is dead to the hero power. But I'm just playing it because it can kill anything that's on the board right now. Yeah. Not so easy now, is it? Probably not the best decision. She also has a Dark Cultist worship. Wait a minute, that was... That had one attack previously. Yeah, and the effect is different. 
Okay, so she has different cards. Oh! Okay, so she has a lot of... Hmm... The cards don't have many... Oh, but she did have the Necronites. That's right. Okay, so this one is harder than the previous one. Let's see what do I have. Should I use my Shaman deck? The Zeus version of it. With a lot of spell power. Might be good. Shaman might be good for this. Got Earth Shock to get rid of nasty death rattles. Got a lot of cheap removal. Hmm. This one might be quite interesting. Let's try it. This doesn't work, maybe Freeze Mage? A freeze Mage might actually be good because I can use Ale I, I can stall and use Alex Trazit to put it straight at 15 health. Oh, that might be fantastic. My acolytes serve me without question. For Doomhammer. Alex Trazit might actually be pretty good in heroic modes. Because that's, what, 30 damage immediately? And with Freeze Mage, might be pretty good. Just need to stall. Turn 9, Alexstrasza. Turn 10, Double Fireball and Frostbolt, or something like that. Job done. Even if I Flame Burst something... I died with a hero power. GG. Her deck is very fast, a lot of cheap minions. And the hero power is just absurd. Let's see, I'm currently using the... Giant variation. Hmm. Maybe the regular freeze mage will work. With the blizzards, uh, remove the giants, had two blizzards and two. Uh, what was it? Ice barriers. That feels too... It feels like I'm stalling too much with that one. Okay, let's try that version first. I don't think the giants will be much use here. Two blizzards and two ice barriers. Is this the correct version? I can't remember. Not this. Jaina versus Grand Widow Fairlina. My acolytes serve me without question. Yeah, let's keep the you card draw. <laughs> Her hero power is so OP. That's right, I rely on a lot of card draw and having a lot of cards. And do I ever get to start second? Let's get to loot order. Which will die immediately. Archmage not helpful right now. Need more. 
Let's absorb eight damage. Slay them in the master's name. Oh no, that thing. Did absorb some damage. Doomsayer, nice. I'll wait for more minions though. Arcane Intellect, also pretty nice. Eh, it doesn't really matter if I hit her or not. I'm waiting for Alexstrasza. Come on, play more minions. Necronites. Already at 14. Ice block. Lovely. Oh, is she gonna kill it? Oh, the ah, damn it. Come on, come on, RNG gods. Arcane Intellect, followed by Ice Block, and if I could get a Flame Strike, another one of those. She could just kill me with that thing. See, she can break my ice block with the Necronite. If I don't play any minions, you can just use the hero power. If I play Antonidas, Antonidas will probably die. But if I don't play Antonidas, I don't have any minions to absorb the hero power. Decisions, decisions. Mirror image. And a lot of pain. That works. Hit the Acolyte, give me cards. Not bad. I just don't want... Oh, how many cards do I have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Just don't want the Ice Block to be broken this turn. Flame Strike doesn't really help me here. Okay, what do I do? Do I stall? Do I use Frost Nova and Doomsayer? Or do I Blizzard and Doomsayer? I need to stall. I should also freeze her. Guess I'll do this this turn. All blizzards. I'll use Ice Lance on her because she has this bonus. I forgot to get. Always forget about that. Damn it. Still no Alexstrasza. Okay, Ice Block is a must. Need to Frost Nova and get this out. But I might be dead next turn. Unless I get Alexstrasza immediately. Ah, she killed it. Well, I'm pretty much dead.
I could kill everything with a flame strike. Damn it, eight cards left. So close. Where was Alex Traza? Not the next one, I see. And hero power, I guess. Yep. I feel like I, I can do it with this one. Let's try again. Ah, but the fact that I barely have any minions means that uh, the hero power will almost always hit me. This is a nasty battle. My acolytes serve me without question. You asked for it. Give me a lot of card draw. Uh, again, card draw, double edged swords. Job done. Didn't really want the flames. I think I'm dead from this. Yes, I am. So she has a lot of cheap minions that are pretty good. She has those that gives her give her attack. She has her absurd hero power. What should I do against this? Classes with good board clear come to mind, like mage, as I've used. Have a lot of board clear with my blizzards, flame strikes, and uh, doomsayers. Shaman with spell powered uh, lightning storms. Or maybe a class with a ton of taunts. Handlock. It's a bit. Uh, hmm. I do have a lot of cards as a handlock. But I can get tons of taunts too. Might go for a druid. I think I'll make a druid deck specifically for this. Even though I, do, I don't really enjoy playing druids. Let's see. Let's add a lot of stuff here. I need power. Um, hmm. I do have po ah, but poison seeds gives her the uh, treants. See, with priests, I don't have enough bursts. I don't think I'll have enough damage as a priest. The thing is, all of these decks are made to deal with classes that have 30 health. And she has 45. I think I'll give the mage another go. Maybe use the giant for riot. Get rid of the blizzards. And the... What was it? Ice barriers. What am I doing? Two molten's, two mountains. See how it works. Yeah, so I've had all of those small next Ramus videos. Well, not anymore. This one's gonna be huge. Jaina versus Grand Widow Berlina. My acolytes serve me without question. No, no flame strikes. It. 
All right. Got some removal, got some something to absorb the damage. Which I'll probably use immediately to get rid of the cards. I guess I can nice block next turn. The thing about this is I need cards. Slay them in the master's name. But I also need to get rid of cards. And this deck is uh, probably not the best choice because I need to keep a lot of cards in hand. And I'm going to kill that. I need another one. I need to deal with the threats. And no giants yet, which is unfortunate. Although I don't think I could play one if even if I had him. I hope you like my invention. Tomb Seer is nice. But I won't use him next uh, this turn. Because I can't combo it with the Frost Nova. And the less cards I have in my hand, the better. Oh, I'm almost dead. The damned stand ready. Why rampage? Come on! All right, they're all gonna die. That's good, I guess. But you're gonna play a minion? No. Okay. We have Alex Straza. I repeat, we have Alex Straza. I think I'm going to die anyway. Molten Giants. This will absorb some hits from her hero power. And we have the other ice block. Okay. We have two fireballs. The damned stand ready. Alright. I think we got this. Oh, I thought something was about to appear, but no. Oh, but I'll get... Hmm. My ice block will be broken. I might just use Alex to heal myself. Then I'll get another 8-8 eight, eight on the board. That might be the best decision. And then next turn I'll Archmage, Ice Block. Come on, don't kill my giant. Damn it. Yeah, I need to heal myself, otherwise my Ice Block won't last another turn. She is running out of cards though, but she has a lot of damage. <laughs> a lot of damage there. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Oh my. That was scary. Archmage Ice Block or Frost Nova Ice Block. Okay, I'm going to deal 8 damage. And then if I Frost Nova, she might be able to kill me. So I need the Ice Block. Anyway. But I also need to play minions to absorb some hits from her uh, thing. 
Let's play it safe in Ice Block. Oh, but she has... She has three attack. So I need to Ice, ice Lance her. Okay, I'll use this. I'll Frost... Uh, wait. Next turn I have 12. 12... 20 damage. That's not enough. That's definitely not enough. I can f I'll Frost Nova. I'll Ice Lancer and play Acolyte of Pain. Next turn, I'll Antonidas. No, I. <sighs> Nova, Ice Lance. And acolytes. But we should only deal four mountain giants. Nice. Mirror image, also pretty good. As long as the flame strike, even better. No, I don't want to play flame strike. Let's see, if I attack with Alexstrasza, she'll be at... She's at 26, she'll be at 16... No. 18? Yeah, she'll be at 18. She'll be at 18. Um... She can kill... But she can kill my stuff. Damn it, what do I do? I need Antonidas to be able to deal the <sighs> She'll be at 18 if Alexstrasza lives. I can finish her off I can finish her off next turn with 20 damage. The problem is if Alexstrasza does not live. I can, if Alex Rosa leaves, I can afford the ice block being broken. If I'm going to play Antonidas. No, Antonidas is not worth it. Because I can't deal enough. Um, I can't use a fireball this turn. I can't use any direct damage. Well, Antonidas might be worth it because I could. It has 7 health. I can mirror image, but the giant might be better. All right, giant, your image, and just play something so so she can't do as much damage. And I'll do one damage to this. I will mourn you. Here comes the rain of fire. All right. I think we got this. She can't kill both my strong guys. I don't think so. And she's at a perfect 15 health. We can even do our little combo. Finally! Alright, so he finally beat the Grand Widow in heroic mode. Man, that, that was rough. That was incredibly rough. But Alex Reza saved the day, although not in the way I expected it to. I had to heal myself instead of putting her at 15. Luckily, we'd ha uh, she couldn't kill Alex Traza, so we managed to deal a ton of damage. Alright. Man, this is going to be a long video. 
uh, thank you for uh, putting up with me for uh, this uh, long time. And I'll see you all next time for the last boss, Maxna, in heroic mode. Thanks for watching.